In 2009, two environmental activists will be put on trial in a court case never before seen in Japan. Junichi Sato and Toru Suzuki stand accused of stealing a box of whale meat. Along with them on trial stands environmental organization Greenpeace and the issue of whaling in the Southern Ocean. For more than 20 years, a fleet sent by the government of Japan has been hunting whales in the Southern Ocean. And during many of those Antarctic summers, Greenpeace has been out on the waves to stop the hunt. Commercial whaling was banned in 1986. Japan, however, continues to hunt whales in the Southern Ocean using a loophole in the regulations of the International Whaling Commission, which allows catching whales to scientific research. This is not scientific research. This is commercial whaling in disguise. The meat is marketed quite openly by the government and even Japan's own prime minister laughed at the idea of calling this science. Sarah Holden heads the international Greenpeace campaign against whaling. In early 2008, she's informed her Japanese colleagues have come across some highly interesting information. Our Greenpeace office in Japan received information from a man who used to work on the whaling ships. And some of the information he gave us was truly astonishing. Um, he told us that uh, there was a, a regular practice of throwing large amounts of whale meat over the side of the ship and only keeping what they call the prime cuts, the commercially viable pieces of meat. And he also told us, more importantly, uh, that the crew routinely take whale meat and when they come back to port in Japan, then they will sell it on the black market. It's a clear case of embezzlement. According to the informer, nearly all of the whaling fleet's crew members are involved in stealing the best meat from the hunt. Two Greenpeace activists, Junichi Sato and Toru Suzuki, set off to investigate the informer's claims. They start an undercover operation probing restaurants and markets across Japan to find out exactly where the whale meat is ending up. The results are astonishing. Traders and restaurant owners around the country confirm they depend on the meat provided to them by the whaling fleet crew members. So this is a little bit of a little あの、ま、私の意味ではその正規あの、もう船員さんはもう自分たちでもうこっそりと持って帰ってきて、で、ま、それをもう適当に処分したりなんかあの売ったりもしていると。In April 2008, the fleet's factory ship Nishin Maru returns from another whaling season in the Southern Ocean. 93 boxes, officially registered as personal baggage, are offloaded and shipped to the private addresses of crew members. One of these consignments is delivered from Tokyo port to a depot in the district of Aomori, where Junichi and Toru managed to intercept it. Contradicting its label, the box does not contain cardboard, but 23 and a half kilos of prime whale meat cuts. On the black market, that's worth between 1,000 to 3,000 US dollars. Junichi and Toru now hold the evidence they've been looking for. この性能運輸の伝票には段ボールが入っているというふうに書かれていました。しかし、この段ボールを開けてみると実際にはこのような芸肉がたくさん入っています。これは日本政府の調査捕鯨が違法な行為を行っていたということの証拠です。日本政府
補助金そして調査捕鯨の許可の停止を行うべきです。Many Japanese people are not aware of the details behind the whaling operation, which has so tarnished the country's reputation internationally. According to official polls, very few people ever eat whale meat, and even fewer know that the government's whaling is entirely funded by more than a billion yen of taxpayers' money. <laughs> なんともいないですけど、はい、ちょっと初めてお聞きしたんでびっくりしました。調査方言に十二億はありえない。ありえないないね。ないないない,ない。Having concluded its four-month investigation, Greenpeace holds a press conference in Tokyo to expose the full details of the whale meat scandal. The intercepted box of whale meat. Is then delivered as evidence, along with a dossier detailing the findings. Tokyo's prosecutor's office promises a full investigation into the Greenpeace allegations, but then events take an unexpected turn. On June the 20th, 2008, there were a series of police actions.、Um, Jinichi Sato was arrested in a hotel near our office.、Uh, his colleague Toru was arrested at his house. Three other staff members' houses were raided. Our office was raided by 40 policemen, and on the same day, not beyond coincidence, I should think, the Tokyo District Prosecutor dropped his investigation into our allegations. It was a very public display of trying to ensure that Greenpeace was silenced. Junichi and Toru are transferred to a prison in Aomori, where they're held in custody for more than three weeks without being formally charged. Handcuffed and tied to chairs. They're interviewed for up to eight hours a day without their lawyers being present. Meanwhile, Greenpeace activists around the world launch a series of protests to express their solidarity with Junichi and Toru. More than 30 organizations, such as Amnesty International, join the call for the immediate release of the activists now known as the Tokyo Two. After 26 days in jail. Junichi and Toru are finally charged with trespass and theft, and released on bail. あの日本では窃盗は人のものを取るだけではなくて、そのものをそのものが普通に利用される方法に従って処分するというそういう意思が必要だとされています。で彼らにはそのしかしこの食べ物をその売ったり食べたりする意思がなかったことは明らかで、それはあの刑事事件の証拠として。捜査機関に提出する目的しかなかったことは検察官も認めていますしたがってこれは厳密には日本における窃盗の定義には当たらないという議論が成り立つと思います I think that the authorities in Japan assumed that we would be bowed down by the pressure that they're putting on us but quite the opposite is happening we're actually expanding our operation in Japan And we have a simple request that there be a third-party, independent investigation of our allegations. Because if that were to happen, then the whaling program would get shut down tomorrow. In February 2009, the Tokyo Two have their first day in court at the initial pre-trial hearing in the city of Aomori. Junichi presents further evidence of the government cover-up. With the production of documents outlining whale meat sales and distribution secured through freedom of information requests, the documents had been so heavily censored by government officials, only the title remained legible. The court case in Japan has also started to attract the attention of international legal experts. You cannot have transparency and accountability covered in black ink. I've spent 30 years investigating governmental misconduct in various parts of the world. The more the governments use black ink, the more you know they are covering up for their own crimes. Professor Voorhof at the University of Ghent in Belgium argues that Genici and Toru have acted in the public interest, and their actions are protected by the right to freedom of expression. They have acted、um, like they have been working. On a case like like journalists to inform the public about something which was happening and that the public should be informed about the public in Japan but also public opinion. So 
it's, it's a very similar way of bringing under the attention of society as what media and journalists do. And that's why the uh, um, Sato and Suzuki can claim to be under the protection of freedom of expression as well. あのもちろん私も今までこういう経験というのをしたことないですからどちらかといえば最初不安もありますただ同時にやはり私たちがこう暴きたかったその横領問題ですとか調査捕鯨の問題点というのが同時にこの裁判で明らかになってくれればという形で、まあ、前向きに考えているところもあります。あもう間違いないですね。ええ、あのまあ私のでまあ現場としてねあの実際あのいろんなものを自分でもう見て触りしてきたわけなんですけど、もう私の目からしたらもう本当にもう大きな大きな犯罪なので、あのまあその中のね本当にあのまあ一つの証拠物としてまあ今回の件に繋がるわけなんですけど、まああの僕らからしたらですね本当にもう大量密輸の現場をね抑えたようなのともうもう同じぐらいのレベルのことだと思ってるんですね。For Junichi and Toru, who risk up to 10 years in prison if convicted, the stakes of this court case are certainly high. But the same is true for Greenpeace. The future of its campaign against whaling in the Southern Ocean, and even that of the environmental organization itself in Japan, may depend on the outcome of this trial. If things go badly, Greenpeace in Japan could well be shut down. This speaks directly. To how serious the government of Japan is about perpetuating its whaling program, that it would shut down an organization that is founded on peaceful protest. It would silence two people who were rightly exposing taxpayers' money being abused just in order to carry on whaling. This is why it's so important for us to move forward and to keep campaigning on this issue, to make sure. That those rights of peaceful protest, that right to speak out at injustice, is still enshrined in what is supposed to be a democratic country. The trial of Junichi and Toru has shifted the issue of whaling from the high seas to the high streets of Tokyo. Only time will tell how the Tokyo 2 will be rewarded for putting whaling on trial.